Creating an interactive menu bar is a great way to set up some basic navigation within your Seros experience. In this video lesson, we'll take a look at the step-by-step -step process of creating a menu bar. As you can see in this finished example, we created a menu bar across the top that allows users to navigate to the different images and sections within this experience. You'll also notice that as we scroll, the menu bar remains pinned to the top of the page. To start things off, let's first grab the anchor tool and drag out three anchors on our canvas for our various sections. Once the anchors are in place, we can draw a rectangle shape at the top of our page, which will serve as the base of our closed menu bar. Feel free to adjust the size, color, or opacity to best fit your design. We can also grab a menu icon from the media library and drag that onto our canvas. Since this makes up the bulk of our closed bar, we can group these two items together by selecting them and selecting the Group button at the bottom of the Layers panel. Now let's tackle the Open Menu section. To do this, we can copy and paste our rectangle and place it underneath the menu bar like so. Since we'll use this part of the menu to direct users to different images on the canvas, let's go ahead and add in some text for our Image 1 section. Once we have this text formatted correctly, we can simply hold the Option key and then click and drag out a copy of the object for Image 2 and 3's text. Let's group all of these assets so we now have a menu bar group and an open menu group. Now we can move on to setting up our first hotspot over our menu icon, which we will use to toggle the menu open and close. Before we set up the interaction, it's a good idea to first name your hotspot so you don't have to guess what it does later on. In this case, let's name it Toggle Open Menu. Moving over to the Interactions tab, let's apply a click trigger, a toggle action, and the entire Open Menu group as the target. Now we can move over to the Open Menu group. As before, let's draw a hotspot over the Image 1 text layer and rename it Scroll Image 1. We can apply a click trigger, a scroll to position action, and the first anchor point as our target. We can now simply duplicate our hotspot interaction for the other two image section navigations and then adjust the anchor targets and names of the hotspots accordingly. Once you have this finished up, the only thing left to do is to select both menu groups of assets and click the pin button in the design panel to pin them in place at the top of the page. Taking a look at our preview, we can see that our menu opens and closes as expected and stays pinned in place as we scroll. Feel free to experiment with different animations and designs to give your menus a completely new look and feel. 